We're back here on Giants.com, and today's Giants Insider is the Giants starting center this week, John Greco. John, how much has your experience in the past playing center and the work you got in the preseason games this year and at practice for the Giants over the summer going to help you stepping into a starting role this week? I think it's big, especially having this uh, full game week preparation, uh, knowing I'm the starter. You know, when you're a reserve role, you have to be able to step in at multiple positions. This week, it's a little bit different mentally, knowing that I have to prepare that I'm going to be taking 60, 70 snaps at one position. So it's a little bit less taxing mentally for that. Um, but at the same time, it's a bit more of a workload and it's more responsibility. So um, my preparation is not going to change. It's just a little bit different because of the, the uh, amount of reps I'm going to be taking. Now, you're the veteran in the room. You've played a lot of games in the NFL, but still stepping in one week to be the center and not just take care of your assignment, but make sure everyone else is organized and doing the right thing. What's that challenge like for you getting ready for this game? Um, you know, all the guys should be able to make the calls no matter where you're at. Now it's just the center's responsibility because he's in the middle. You can see everything. Mm-hmm. But to play any position on this line, you have to know the assignments. You have to know what you're doing, what your buddy's doing on either side of you. You know, that's kind of a comfort level that I've always had in preparing the first two weeks. And at multiple positions, I have to know where everybody's doing anyway. So it's just a thing where you're in there actually making the verbal calls as opposed to just, hey, this is just what me and the tackle are doing. You know, Nate and Coach both talked a little bit about last week and this week handling the twists and the stunts better. And we saw you guys work on that at practice, almost every practice and one-on-ones, you guys work on the games and stuff like that. Is that mostly a communication thing where everyone has to be at the same depth and on the same page in terms of switching guys off and turning them to each other? And is that something you can work on and fix during the week? Yeah, you know, that's that's going to be an emphasis of ours uh, throughout the week, as it, as it will be any week. Mm-hmm. But, um, you know, they, they, they um, have a lot more challenging things that we have to be prepared for in addition to those things we're going to keep working hard on those because um, I I think at this point you know we're going to start when we start picking them up and you know it's just going to build our confidence and uh, you know help us get rolling in the right direction. Finally this is a talented front man they have a lot of guys that can win one-on-one and get to the quarterback Um, just talk about their front and what they do and why that makes them so difficult to block. Well, I think you said it. You know, when, anytime when you have a, a, a talented group like this, especially, you know, their whole front seven, um, it, it allows them not to play exotic and allows them not to really think too much. It's just, hey, you know, line up and beat your guy. And they have the guys that can do it. So that's just going to um, present a bigger challenge for us. And, and we're excited about the opportunity. And it's going to be an electric atmosphere down there. And, um, you know, I know their crowd's going to be into it. And, and I'm looking forward to the challenge. Third straight home opener for you guys. I know the crowd's going to be loud. John, we appreciate the time. Thanks. Thanks for having me. John Greco, today's guest on Giants.com.